Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Taylor. I love talking about peptides, how to teach women how to lose fat, build muscle at the same time, and helping them optimize their hormones. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience and telling you guys a little bit more about Tadalafil, also known as Cialis, and how it's not just for men, women can definitely benefit from it. And this is especially going to be important for all of my postmenopausal ladies out there that want to hear more for the postmenopausal women. I hear you. And I'm here to share with you guys my thoughts and opinions on Tadalafil and how it could be a good big game changer for you as a lady. Let's get into it. The guide to Tadalafil to enhance the longevity and sexual health in women because sexual health is very important and is a very key role in living a healthy life and it is also a key role in the longevity of living. So, and it's just a subject that's not talked about enough and I cannot express enough how important it is as a woman to have a healthy sex life, whether you are with a partner or by yourself. It is healthy to explore that. And as women, we carry so much energy in and have to carry and be so many different things is that that's a way for us to let that energy out because we carry so much of that pent up energy in our bodies is that you need to get it out. You need to be able to release. It is healthy to have sex and to want to have sex as a woman. So here's how Cialis can help you with that. So Tadalafil, also known as Cialis, was originally designed for erectile dysfunction, but it can play a huge role for women and it can help so much just with, with in exercise performance it can help with mitochondria function. It can help with cardiovascular health. It also plays a big role in your metabolism, your metabolic health, not just your sexual health. So it does a lot of other things other than helping with your sexual health. But let's get into it. So like I said, this was originally designed for erectile dysfunction, but Tadalafil works on a inhibitor enzyme called PDE. Five, which is going to help with increasing blood flow, which is why this is so great for men for erectile dysfunction. But this is also going to be a very key role for women too, because you need to get blood circulating and flowing to the clitoris as well in order to help with sexual arousal. That's how it helps with it. But it also is just going to help play a key role in the longevity of benefits, so not just sexual health. Let's get into that. So, so one of the things that's going to be really helpful for is going to be super beneficial for your cardiovascular health and you know for your heart because it's going to help with blood flow and blood circulation. That is going to be playing a big role, obviously, with our heart. It's going to help with oxygen levels and the more oxygen we can pump in, that is going to help with women. This is going to play a key role because this could potentially, not saying that it is, potentially this could help with lowering the risk of heart disease, which is so common, even if you are a woman who is very thin too. I know a lot of women that have dealt with this that are, you know, naturally thinner still have that issue. So that is going to help tremendously with your um, cardiovascular health. Um, it's also going to help with anti-aging, mitochondria health, which I talk about mitochondria a lot on here, but this is also going to help boost your mitochondria function because it is, again, going back, because it's going to be improving your um, blood circulation, that's also going to help act as a powerhouse for your mitochondria affection. So it is... Um, going to help be able to give yourselves a boost of energy. By doing that, we also, because it's playing a role in mitochondrial health, that is going to help with anti-aging because it is going to help prevent your mitochondria cells from decreasing. And that is going to be crucial as we age. And this is going to be so key. This is why like we hear 
in more in their 60s using this, but it's also still super beneficial, especially if you are postmenopausal. But um, it's also really great as um, it can help with as a exercise performance. I have personally taken this as um, to use as a pre-workout to help with um, exercise performance. And it did make a difference. Um, I did have a lot more energy. And here's why. Because it's going to help more oxygen. So because it's helping with blood flow, more oxygen can get pumped through the body. Therefore, you're going to naturally just have more energy. Plus, it's helping with your mitochondria health. But what's going to be really great is that it is going to help with um, improving your blood flow to your muscles especially super cre- like super crucial and important for somebody like me who is you know doing a lot of resistance training it's going to help with that it's also going to just help with endurance too so whether you're whether you're either just like weightlifting or if you're just going into do cardio this is going to be great cuz it's going to help you just perform better it's also going to help with um, faster recoveries, which is going to be great because again, like it's going to help reduce inflammation in the body because we have more blood circulating. Therefore, your muscles are going to be able to recover quicker. Therefore, you can go back in to your next training session and be able to go even just as hard, if not harder, because you don't have to deal with muscle fatigue from muscle recovery, which is huge. Um, for somebody who trains a lot. So that is going to be great. It's also going to help with um, reducing the inflammation, but it's also going to help so much too with repairing and growth. So the less inflammation we have it um, going on our body, especially after we're done with the resistance training session, is that the muscles are going to be able to repair and they're going to be able to heal faster, but they're also going to be able to grow faster. So this that's pretty good. So this is definitely, we haven't tried this yet as a pre-workout. I definitely suggest doing it because it does, it does help. Um, it's also going to help with, um, our cognition function. And this is going to be so big. And I have so many women say they want more help for more brain health. And I think a lot of that kind of stigma comes from, I think a lot of, women, we worry. And I think a lot of women worry about Alzheimer's and dementia happening because I think a lot of um, women are seeing it so much. We're seeing it so much more now, um, but it's affecting. I know a lot of, a lot of women that I talk to have a lot of parents that they've lost parents to that. Um, But it's important to understand like what type of brain cognition are you wanting? But this is going to be a key role in helping with brain cognition because again, to go back, it's going to help with being able to get more oxidation going. That's going to help with your brain because it's going to increase the blood flow. So that is going to be able to help with the nerve tissues in your brain. That's going to be able to help deliver the blood to those, to the neuro tissues. That's going to be great. It's also going to help so much too with reducing oxidative stress, which hello, we're women, we have, I'm women carry so much stress. So it's going to help with oxidative stress that is going to help with inflammation in the brain. So it's also going to help with, um, supporting with anti-aging because it's going to help the more blood circulation inflammation we have going, that is going to help us be able to mentally live a more stress-free life. Therefore, that's going to slow down the aging process. So also going to help with your metabolic health. It's going to play a role with improving your insulin sensitivity. Now, this is not going to be the same as taking a GLP-1, taking insulin, or even taking metformin, but it could potentially help because it is going to improve your inflammation. That isn't going to help improve your insulin. So by stabilizing the blood sugar, it's going to help um, 
with anti-aging process because of less spikes in our insulin and it's more of a, acting as a stabilizer in our insulin. That is the key to longevity of living. Also going to help with certain hormones that are going to help with inflammation. So that is how it's going to help improve your insulin sensitivity. So that's another bonus of this. So it's also going to play a role in your sexual health and sexual health is also a key role in the longevity of living too. Again, because we need to be able to have that release as women and to be able to get that energy released out of us and you keep that pent up, that's just going to age you. So it's going to especially help improve the blood flow to the pelvic area. So the more blood circulation we have going there, that is going to be able to allow women to be able to have healthier sexual experiences. And it's also going to help associate that with your mood swings. It's going to help you build better connection to your relationships. Even if you are not in a relationship, if you're just in a relationship with yourself, you are naturally going to be in a better mood if you are having a healthier sex life going on. So because it's going to help stabilize your mood, if you are being able to have that release that we need to experience as women and as anybody, but especially women, you're naturally going to be in a better mood. You're going to be able to connect more with yourself. You're going to be able to connect more with your partner. Therefore, you're going to be able to be more patient when you are having to interact with others, like with your other relationships outside of that. Therefore, that is going to create less stress and holding on to stress in the body. So that is a very key important. So as far as um, dosing go, um, a low dose for women, which I, this is what I have taken. I have taken 2.5 milligrams of this. Um, that is a low, that's the lowest amount I've taken. I have not gone up. Some women I know have gone up to five milligrams. Um, just personally me, I've only done the 2.5 and that I did that to help with a performance, um, in the gym and it worked great. Um, this is something, Tadalafil is something that you want to, um, cycle off. So some women will try it for about um, four to eight weeks, and then they usually take a break with it. Um, this just helps again with like the receptors and everything. So, and it's something too, you can take as needed. So like for me, like I'll take this, um, once in a while, if I feel like I need the extra pump in the gym, it is a great, great, great product that I think every woman should try, especially postmenopausal women. This can be a big game changer. That is my short little video on Tadalafil. And I think this could be super beneficial for all the postmenopausal ladies, but no matter where you're at, ladies, this has been super beneficial for me. Um, I like using it for a pre-workout, but I definitely think every woman should try it. It can make such a big impact. Um, so if you guys have use to Dalafil at all, please comment below. And, um, if you guys are interested in working with me, use the description bar below to go check out my link tree. And that is how you can work with me, how you can book a peptide plan, how you can do a, a consultation call with me. You also can find, um, the women's peptide course on there as well. And, you guys can also have exclusive access to me if you join my women's group, the Feminine Flow Collective. And this is definitely a topic that we have covered and we constantly talk about in the group on how to use Tadalafil more, not just for sexual health, but overall performance as well too. So until next time, guys, I can't thank you guys enough and I will chat with you guys soon.